Hi guys, this is Tor from TC here in Anaheim, LA at the NAMM show 2013 and uh, we're here with uh, Jason Hook from Killer Metal Band Five Finger Death Punch. Thanks for, for being here. Thank you. And uh, we're here to do a tone print um, and you picked the uh, flashback delay pedal. Yep. Do you use a lot of delays usually in your sound? It's really the only effect that I kind of lean on, <coughs> um, certainly for solos, yep. the, uh, the dynamic delay is great because when you're playing it doesn't interfere with all your notes. Oh, so you want it to back down a little exactly. bit? Exactly. I mean, it may, it was, when I found it, when I discovered the dynamic delay, it made perfect sense because I don't want to clutter up my fast no, playing, no. so it's, that all can come through and then as soon as you slow down, it kind of comes up yeah. and, and enhances that so slower, slower melodic section of the solo or whatever. So yeah. it's, it's perfect. I don't think a lot of people are aware of that type of delay. No, but it seems like you know a little bit of a... But it's kind of like the obvious choice. Yeah. I think especially for, you know, if you play a lot of shreddy kind of fast runs, it's, yeah. it's the perfect way of... I mean, it's kind of switching on and off, in a sense, yeah. for you, yeah. which is great. So in terms of delay sound and stuff <coughs> like that, what do you tend to gravitate towards? And like old school sounds or something new, more modern? Or? Um, I like it to, I, I like the digital delay, yeah. you know, like uh, the degradation of say like an analog tape yeah. machine or whatever. I, I mean, I never really, that wasn't really something I needed. No. Um, it might be cool for a specific effect if you were looking for a specific vibe or yeah. some kind of weird sound. But for me, I'm just looking, I'm looking for something to fill in and sound kind of milky when I'm playing slow and melodic. Yeah. And so I like it to be a, a direct reproduction of the sound that I'm playing. Okay. So you already done something in like, a, you know, the, the core setting that you typically go for. Yeah. Uh, can we hear that a little bit, how it sounds right now? I, I do one repeat. Oh, just one repeat? Yeah, one yeah. repeat. One repeat, because yeah. you still feel like there's more, yeah. But you're, I, you know, I'm actually playing along, so I don't want too much stuff hanging. No. Especially if you're like, if like I noticed, if you have st stuff hanging and you're changing keys or modulating or something, all of a sudden you've got bad notes. Yeah. So I just go one repeat. So you actually don't. It doesn't sound like I have one engaged. No. If I would probably dial it back a little tighter. Do you do it in the computer or do I do I it? I can do anything you want. Put so. it put it at put it at five hundred just so I can get okay. a vibe on it. Yeah, is that five hundred? Yeah. That's about right. I mean, it's very subtle, and people might think like, "What's the point?" But I know it's there, and yeah. and if you if you do something rhythmically, like you're playing, I like it to be in those holes. Yeah. I like it to yeah. pop up when yeah. I'm not playing. I mean, I prefer a little brighter. Yeah. Because it's coming back at half volume. Yeah. So to have a little bit more edge on it yeah. makes it poke through. Yeah. So this is better? Yeah. I can hear. Okay, so, so the other thing you're using is the dynamic delay. And, you know, on the pedal itself, it's just, you know, there's basically one setting. But we can go in and tweak uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. how fast it reacts. Maybe uh, bring up the overall level of when it's the, the, the duct. The yeah, duck so it level. should be a little less ducking. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe a little louder in the mix. Better. Yeah. It's cool though, eh? That's right, exactly it. You nailed it, man. That's exactly it. I wouldn't touch it.
That's a great delay.